I'm here know. with Brita Wool and Sam Littleville. And you guys are here at the Power 50 yes. uh, magazine. Up. So yes. What? How do you feel about uh, Brett Kavanaugh? <laughs> oh. We have some really strong opinions about Brett Kavanaugh. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think about Brett Kavanaugh? Uh, <laughs> how much time? Do you um, have? I really is that really what we're doing? No. What, you're, oh. So you're on a show? Yes, I yes. am on a show, uh, Mr. Mercedes. Okay. Um, I play um, an incredible, harrowing, amazing character who's going through some remarkable story and my name is Lou Linklater in the story and um, I'm Brady Hartsfield who's played by Brendan Gleeson, uh, who's played by Harry Treadaway, uh, his only friend and he is a serial killer and it's uh, Stephen King, uh, David E. Kelly, Jack Bender and I am a awesome queer motorcycle riding neck tattoo out so you, in left field. Yeah. Uh, how do you think that our president has affected the LGBTQ community? Um. God, I'm like about to burst into tears. <laughs> it's uh, if you guys are watching this later on, it's actually the Kavanaugh hearings were today, and I feel like a raw, raw nerve. And also, uh, not, not to dis, uh, deflect your answer like Kavanaugh yeah. did to most of the answers, but I just want to say that um, to have um, white uh, um, male toxic masculinity that comes from secret societies, fraternities, and uh, a culture of drinking and predatory sexual behavior out in the forefront with adults mm -hmm. all questioning it is the furthest I have felt the uh, fight for equality. Even if he gets the, his nomination, the fact that we are saying by association to these organizations like DKE and his tit and clit uh, secret society and by association that those things no longer equate uh, a, a, a perfect line into power. And that, that that power, if continued by young men to behave that way, will be questioned as an adult and will come back to haunt you. And it's massive and it's big and it's powerful. And it means everything for people who have been dominated, oppressed by that small group. Well, it's important for us to have people <laughs> like you and your loud voice to stand up for for the rights of the LGBTQ community. Thank and you. And whichever community you're a part of. I, I'm still <laughs> figuring it out, as should everyone. Thank you so much. And this is Sam Littlefield ah, as Sam. well. We just made a really <laughs> cool movie together. Said, by the way. Oh, cool, yeah. Sam. What, what movie is it? Um, we're in post production right now. It's called I'm a Terrible Mother. Mm -hmm. And cool. it is Check going it to out. be extraordinary. Fantastic. Well, nice to meet both of you. Oh, nice can I you. say something about fashion? You can say whatever you like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the stage is yours. This outfit may or may not have been worn by Carol Burnett. Ooh. And it is my um, very good friend, Alexandra Anthony, who is opening her shop downtown, which is very high-end, extraordinary pieces. And this is the much, much demure piece of hers. And it's opening. It's called... Uh, uh, the Follies. The, Follies the, la the Last Follies The Last closet. Follies the Closet. Last closet. So and what, it's opening on Saturday so downtown. What, do you remember what this means? What Carol is, Burnett? Hi. No. Right? That, hi. She, was, she was saying hi, Mom. Yeah, hi, Mom. Yeah. Oh, Aww. my gosh. It's true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, guys.